Hey Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me, y'all. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all are well. Hope your families are well. Hope your money is A1, your mindset is A1, and life is treating you amazingly as we, where are we? Not too far away from your birthday season. Just a little over a week, and it will be Aries season. Well, is it a week? Yeah. Oh, something like that. All right, Aries, if you have Aries placements in your chart, this could resonate, all right? This is not a personal reading, y'all, so just know not every aspect of what I say is going to resonate with everyone, but just take what works for you. Lead a rest with somebody else, y'all. What is your Archangel message for the day? Spirit for Aries. We have don't settle for less. Number 10, you are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up. Don't give up. All right, bottom of the deck. We have be a light to others. Number four, you have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. So some of y'all, you know, and your, your Aries energy, your emperor energy, y'all are leaders. Y'all are bosses. Y'all are um, influential here. Maybe there's something going on in your life right now that has made you feel less emperor-like, you know, that's challenged your confidence just a little bit. Spirit is saying, don't give up on your dreams. Keep your heart light because this, look at the focus on the, um, the heart, right? Keep your heart light. Same energy that um, Pisces just got. Some of you could be on the cusp. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Get one of these two. This is for Aries. We have friendship. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So it says be a light to others. Some of you have a friend. Maybe your friend is settling for less. There could be someone in your life that you're trying to like mentor or, you know, speak life into. You're trying to help. You're trying to assist as they're going through something here. So Spirit is saying that, you know, this is all divinely orchestrated. It's not by coincidence that this person is in your life and you're in their lives or in their life. You are meant to, um, in this moment, help them to see their own value. Okay. So let's get a couple of these. We have the Divine Feminine, we have Creativity, and we have Inner Peace. Bottom of the deck, we have Spiritual Maturity. Some of y'all are really wise. Some of you could be counselors. It says Tolerance, Agree to Disagree, Open-Minded, Respect Differences, and Unlearning. We have Life Purpose right under that. Some of y'all are really meant to help people to get to this mountaintop here. You're, you're very wise. Okay, so Divine Feminine Energy. The fundamental form of abund abundance. Trust your feminine energy. Tune into the portal of your heart. Just said that right there. Um, acknowledge your power. The world couldn't exist without you. All come from you. This is Taurus and Libra energy. So some of you could be on the Aries Taurus cusp. All right. So you're operating in your divine feminine energy. Energy, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. It's not gender specific. Creativity. It says think outside the box. In boredom and repetition. So put an end to boredom and repetition. Change your routines. Go about things in a new way. Be spontaneous and keep things fresh. This is Aquarius energy. It's time for a leap of faith here. And something, all right? It says don't settle for less. Some of you may be wanting to make some type of transition in your career or just in your life. You may want to transmute some of the energy in your life. You're looking to not only help your friend and you know be a leader. But, you know, be that for yourself as well, not just for others. Some of you could be very creative or working on creative projects here. It may require you to step outside the box just a little bit, okay? I, when I look at this card, it just, it makes me think of a child because or children because it looks very childlike. A, a lot of the activities and things that are going on are about being fearless, being creative, being, um, turning into your intuition where, you get back into your imagination, all right? So your imagination is very important right now. Even with the Divine Feminine, that's the Empress. The, the Empress is all about creativity, all right? So some of you could be really creative. All right, so what do we have here? Inner Peace. Uh, it says, you are enough, okay? And she's reading a book that says, I am enough. I can't see what it says under that, but... So Spirit wants you to know that you are enough. It says, be you. Embrace your differences. Naturally attract your soul tribe. Don't force anything. You are enough. 
This is Pisces energy. Um, some of you are trying to get a different perspective on something here. Could be this creative project you're working on. Whatever it is that may be making you feel like you're settling for less. It could be this friendship. It could be anything. Maybe healing your heart after going through something. Yeah, we're going to clarify. Let's see. What is the divine feminine? Divine feminine is clarified by the nine of cups. Pisces energy. Again, some of you could be on the cusp. <clears throat> some of you, you are someone's divine feminine or you are in a connection with your divine feminine. All right. So take it how it resonates here. This is also a card of creativity and success. All right. So some of you are manifesting something here. Your wish fulfillment is here. All right. It's all tied to, it's connected to you opening your heart. We have the moon, Pisces energy, a lot of Pisces energy, and the hangman coming out, all Pisces energy. Some of y'all are definitely on the cusp. Okay, so again, I say you are trying to get a new perspective on something here. With this inner peace, it's the same, same energy. You're surrendering something, something that felt uncertain, something that, you know, felt like it had a lot of hidden, secretive energy here. Maybe even fears of the unknown could be going on here. But your wish fulfillment is on the other side of that, all right? So tap into your divine feminine energy. Open your heart. It says don't settle for less, meaning you don't have to stay in this fear energy if you are fearful about something, if you're trying to manifest something. Something that is your wish fulfillment, whether it be love, whether it be success, whether it be some creative project, whatever it may be. The unknown is where the magic happens. I always say that, you know, we don't see things when it's, when it's unknown, obviously. That's why it's unknown. But the beauty in it is when you do it anyway, and then in the end, the end result is you see the success, you see the fruits of your labor, you see a return in your investment here. So a different perspective may be required. You may need to take a break from something to tune into this energy here, being a light to others and not settling for less, all right? Your friendships are very important because I just saw the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be reuniting with some friends, working with some friends in some way. Um, even outside of helping them, um, it, could, it could involve business. I don't know. So you can have a Taurus or a Libra friend, a Pisces friend. Pisces is very heavy in your reading. What's creativity? The Two of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Death card. The Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so your intuition is very important right now. Your intuition is very important. Some of y'all are, you're making some kind of financial decision here. You're juggling. You're trying to prioritize two things and trying to figure out how you can have both at the same time. Maybe you feel like something will fall apart here, right? With the tower. This is your own energy. Aries and Scorpio energy. We have Capricorn. Um, and we have Scorpio again. Yeah, so like I said, some of you could have been connected to a Scorpio that in the relationship ended and maybe you're trying to pick up the pieces maybe trying to figure out how you could ever love again after going through some kind of breakup here because there's definitely a feeling of trying to balance two different things in your life here okay and it's it's clarifying creativity but on the card you see a couple there so this could have something to do with your work home life I mean, there's a lot of recreational stuff going on, but there's also a home here and a rainbow. There's like so many different things going on. And the moon is in this card as well. So there's some some kind of um, the tower and the death card coming out. I don't know why in my readings, the tower and the death card comes out a lot together and the hangman and the hermit comes out together. Now, if the hermit comes out because the hangman is already here, y'all just remember I said it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so there's some type of sudden change here. Something shocking happened. You may have broken up with someone who could have been juggling you. That's possible. And it ended as a result of them putting you in some third party type of situation here, juggling you, maybe not prioritizing you. Or could it just simply be, then have been that they were not prioritizing you? But I feel like whatever ended needed to end because it's going to give birth to what you need to be doing, what you're supposed to be doing. Because you're not going to settle for that. It's like, if you can't be all about me, I can't be all about you. What's the inner peace? Oh, the sun. Seven of Wands and Four of Wands. But the strength card, some of y'all are really, really confident right now. You're really powerful and you're confident. You're very controlled. The emperor under that. <laughs> Your own energy. Y'all are about to be in a, in a position of power, not only in your career, not only in your finances, but in your life in general. You have inner peace here. You got the happiest card in the tarot deck with the sun card. 
the sun card. You can't get any better than that. That's Leo energy. So some of you, um, you could be finding yourselves not only getting the rewards, like I said, the rewards on your the return on your investments, but you have victory, you have prosperity. This is love. This is, you know, healing your inner child. This is focusing on the positive. This is healing your connections here, all right? So you definitely have a lot to be happy about. You have a lot to have, you know, your inner peace is not there by accident. You also have this twin flame, four wands, your own energy. You have a lot to celebrate coming up here. And a lot of y'all are setting better boundaries with people. You ain't taking nobody's nonsense. You're standing your ground. You're going for what you want. And you're very confident. Very confident. Okay. Hopping cards, as usual. As per usual. All right, y'all. Let me grab some of these and see what we get. Then we're going to get some advice and wrap this up because it went a little longer than I wanted to. So let's see what's going on for Aries. What's going on for Aries? Okay, Aries, let's see. A couple of cards for you. I can only receive what I want unless it isn't what I need. It says God sorts it out for my highest good. So yeah, this is all about you. You know, sometimes we want things that are not in our best interest here, but spirit is not gonna allow things to come to you that are not a part of your story, all right? So if you had to let someone go, spirit is saying it's for the best. It was meant to be that way. Don't sweat it, keep your inner peace, all right? Stay in your divine feminine energy. We have to each his or her own. Everyone is entitled to their own personal preferences and taste. Differences don't have to cause a divide. Accept people as they are. Okay? That could be about your friendships here. You have a friend maybe. I'm feeling like somebody that's completely opposite from you, who looks up to you, who depends on you to help them get through tough times here. And sometimes that can be taxing because you may feel like, you know, what do they call those people? They call them ask holes, A-S-K holes. <laughs> like they ask for advice and then they don't take their advice. And you're like, why you keep asking me if they're not going to listen? <laughs> but be patient with this person who may be settling for less. It says, when is the last time you had a good cry? It's okay to purge from time to time. So yeah, sometimes you have to go ahead and, and let release all of that. You know, let all of that out. You got the tower, you got the death. There's definitely something you're releasing here. And it's making way for something a hundred times better. A thousand times better. Yeah, we have losing the battle but winning the war. This is the nine of wands, Sagittarius energy. Some of you can have Sagittarius placements in your chart. So there's something that you lost, but you're gonna gain so much more. So much more as a result of letting it go. We have never ending story. Number 37 could be someone's age. There's someone that's been in your energy for a while, and y'all are definitely walking away from them. We have between worlds. You're in transition right now. You're in transition. But I promise you something better is coming. Look at this. To the sea. You're, you're moving on. This is number seven, number three, and number 37. Oh, you got three, seven, three, seven. So look look that angel number up. Um, Yeah, this is about moving to calmer waters. This is Aquarius energy. You had Aquarius come out a couple times. Some of you could be connected to an Aquarius too. But I, I just feel spirit saying, you know, be a friend to others, but also let people support you. For sure, because you got the wish fulfillment cards, you got the sun. You have a lot here to be happy about inner um, peace and strength, which is all about your confidence and your ability to overcome. You know, the strength card is the peacemaker card. It's, it's the peacemaker, and so you have to make peace with inner peace. You have to make peace within yourself. All right, not necessarily in a connection. Sometimes it's just best to let people go, wish them well. And continue to work on yourself. All right, Aries, this has gone way longer than I wanted it to. I'm going to end it there. I hope this resonated. Messages from Spirit for you all today. I'm going to put this up on Sunday, not Monday, because tomorrow I'm just, I can't commit to it. Um, as I've said before, I have two channels, and so I have to try to maintain a lot, as well as being a mother, as well as being, you know, the lady in somebody's life and my own life, because I have to have my me time, is very important to me. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped you. 
I hope it was enlightening. I hope it was entertaining. It really wasn't entertaining, but I hope it was enlightening for you and you enjoyed it. If so, please like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment if you liked it. I will see you all when I see you all. Peace.